It is your turn. It is your no. Go. The bar is set just a wee bit higher at LSU than it is at most places. And for a program that's used to being in the hunt for the national title, going 8-5 and five with a Music City Bowl loss just isn't going to fly. So, will LSU finally start to play up to its talent level again? Here's the deal with the 2015 Tigers. The ground game's going to take off with Leonard Fournette about to be a truly special back if the offensive line comes together in a hurry. The quarterback situation, though, it's still a bit tricky with Anthony Jennings and Brandon Harris fighting it out. But the receiving core is absolutely loaded. This could be the SEC's best group of receivers. The defensive front should be dominant, and the back seven will be rock solid. But the passing game has to work for the season to be a success. Helped by Zach Mettenberger and Odell Beckham Jr., the Tigers had a balanced offense two years ago, finishing 44th in the nation in passing. Last year, LSU was 114th in the country through the air, even with a strong group of receivers to work with. Just simply, the quarterback play has got to be better. And the schedule is not going to help. It's a little bit rough. But it's not too bad early on, with a 5-0 start, a possibility before going to South Carolina. And if the Tigers can own Death Valley, at worst, they could be 7-1 going into the Alabama showdown. There are still too many flaws, though, so a 9-win season would be a success, even for LSU. I'm Pete Futak. To dive deeper into the 2015 Tigers, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.